Unfortunately, the simple business that my wife and I set out to build in making art featuring the American flag has become very complicated and at times almost unbearable. We never thought in a million years that we would be advocating for legislation so important that American dreams, marriages, and families depended on us accomplishing this mission. When our business, that was our six-year-old son's idea, was targeted by three of the largest companies on the planet in Facebook, Shopify, and PayPal, we understood the weight of the toxicity of cancel culture because we nearly lost everything. Our business, our home, our family, and even each other. But God had a different plan for us, and this path that we have prayed for God to show us three years ago has led us to where we are today. We have learned that we either win or we learn, but we will never lose what God has given to us by the hands of the evil that has pursued us. We could allow hate in our hearts for Mark Zuckerberg Tobias Lutka and Dan Schulman for what they programmed their company's platforms to put our family and thousands of other families through, but that would give the devil a small victory that my wife and I are unwilling to offer him. Instead, we pray for those men, asking God to put in their hearts what he put into ours. But that grace did not come easily. In fact, at one time, on live TV on the One American News Network, I challenged those three men to a three-on-one fight even offering each of them a non-disclosure agreement to never talk about what they had done to our family if they would just allow me one chance to put my hands on them. Those were the darkest days of our ordeal, and thankfully, that was not to be on the path that God created for us. We have seen some incredible highs and lows along our journey. The easy lows have been when our will to stay in business was being tested. The most difficult lows were when the financial stresses brought about by being canceled by Shopify, Facebook, and PayPal tested my wife and my will to stay together. But what helped us overcome and thrive through it all was that our faith that God had cut this path for us would not allow our faith to be tested. Or perhaps it was, but us knowing God's love for us was simply the only thing in our lives that Big Tech could not put its hands on to destroy. I hope you feel God's love this way, because with it, every single step of your life will be easier and with purpose. In fact, that's how you'll know that you're on the path that God has cut for you. So here we are, on this path God cut for us. And on that path, God has put some of his warriors to keep us moving to the next challenge. Among them, Alex Avtum, Armit Dillon, Sean and Rachel Duffy, Jerry Latundry, Chris Knowles, Lauren Emery, Christina Werner, Jamie and Tanner Hawk, Daniel Curtis, Derek Utley, Robbie Jones, Eugene Honrath, Ken Nuss, Representative Monty Fritz, Max and Diane Winters, our business partner Tim Ryland, and every single person who has ever bought a flag from us. God put each of these beautiful people on our path and without each and every one of them we would not have been able to continue on. God puts angels in our lives. Please believe that he's put angels in yours. God has called us to this path to right a wrong that is happening every single day in our country, to pursue legislation that will protect any other person or family from what my wife and my family has had to endure at the hands of tyrannical, godless companies. However, our testimony to the Tennessee legislature is not the testimony that we want to be remembered for. But as our path continues, our testimony to God's love and his blessings is what we hope that all those who have heard our story might remember us for.